Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. We're in episode 90 of the playthrough. Nothing on the calendar today. It is Friday, which means traveling cart. That's about it. Tomorrow is Abigail's birthday, so we might want to try and find her. It's going to storm tomorrow, and it's going to rain on the island tomorrow. It's a good luck day. Where's my wife? There she is. Look, we got flour. So there you go. I got. She got up early and watered the crops. Oh, you are the best. You get cheese for that. Boom. All right. Um, so you go in there. I love it when she waters the crops for me. It saves me a lot of time, honestly. All right, so we'll grab that flower. I don't really have much of a use for it. I got to get some stuff for both of these fish ponds. Um, and I'm sorry, but this hardwood right here, got to go. Oh, I forgot our axe. It only took me three chops to knock that thing down. How awesome is that? Knock it down and get rid of the stump. How awesome does our shrine look, guys? I mean, the Lewis Shrine is divine. <laughs> All right, uh, nothing going on in the, what's it called, greenhouse today. We got mermaid music. Now, what are we going to do today? Um, I honestly might go up and see Robin and have her go ahead and just build us the slime hutch. Uh, no, don't drink the milk. You guys could come out. I'm not going to necessarily use the slime hutch right away. But it would be kind of nice to have it placed. Actually, I know something else that we can do today. I want to go and see the wizard. <clears throat> because I want to... Um, I got to start working on whatever I need to do to... Oh my gosh. Delivery. <laughs> George. Salmon. George wants salmon. Why is everybody... Oh, I forgot. That was, I think, from the last episode, right? Um, I would assume that she watered these as well, but we'll do it just in case. Those have got to be ready soon. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? I need to get down and see George or uh, the wizard. So the objective there is to see what we can do as far as the warp totems or the warp obelisks. Because do I have any trash? I do. Boom. And boom. <clears throat> so anyway, sorry, I'm I'm kind of a little distracted right this moment. We now have 134 um, ancient seeds, and we're not done there. So like, we're doing pretty good on that front. <clears throat> All right, do I have? I don't have stuff to smelt. So. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Right. Let's put, um, that there. And that in there. Selling all of that stuff. And now, let's go ahead and grab our jades. So, we're doing pretty good on uh, Jade. We now have 70. 
I should probably go ahead and make a couple more um, crystallariums. I need 20 iridium for um, tool upgrades, but I can do that. And I'm going to do rubies. I know that that is the last of my rubies at the moment, but it's okay. So I can't. Yeah, there we go. So those two rubies will duplicate, and then I'll be producing ruby on a regular basis. Those will be for, um, what's it called? You know what? I'm going to just grab a salmon if I've got a couple so that I don't have to go fishing to get one for George wait she said she watered the crops but those don't really look watered am I missing something here she only did some of them you lazy you almost tricked me into not watering these she watered, she watered those right there, and that's it. Don't tell me that you watered the crops when you only did, like, a tenth of the crops. Whatever. It still helps, but... I mean, that was... That was some trickery right there by the... Uh, I'm gonna have to reprimand her for that. So... My throat's a little bit raw. My voice, I should say, is a little bit raw right now. We went, um, so my wife's out of town and my buddy at work, his wife is also out of town. So we both arranged for childcare the other day and, um, hang on. <clears throat> So, anyway, we arranged for childcare and then met down at our office like late in the day. Our CEO was was in the office. We were chatting with him. Wait, I need to go see the wizard. So, uh, but let's go find George first. <clears throat> anyway, CEO was on a phone call and um, came over and was like, you know, on mute. He's like, are you guys going for a drink after work? Because... It's been a while since we've done something like that, so you know if you're if you're going if that's what your plan is, I'm joining. So anyway, we go to this rooftop bar here in Knoxville that's freaking awesome. And the, when, the nice thing about when the CEO comes is he just you know puts a credit card down and he's buying drinks. So we stayed there for probably longer than we would have, because as you can imagine, a rooftop bar in downtown Knoxville the prices are a little steep so anyway had a few drinks there then he split and then we went to a um there's a like hipster bowling alley i guess we'll call it across the street so we went there um played a few bowled a few games and i actually the uh i hadn't bowled in a long time but i used to be a pretty decent bowler and it showed on that particular night because I bowled a 187 in my first game. I only left two pins standing the whole game. Which is, like, for me, especially having not played in a long time, that was, that was awesome. But anyway, then we went to a underground karaoke bar that, like, we had never been there and had just seen about this place. And we were like... It seems terrifying, but like if we go there with a few of us and we've got numbers, I'm cool with it. <laughs> so we went and it was it was kind of creepy, uh, but we had a good time. And so I got up and sang a few songs. My the guys that I was with apparently aren't singers, but I enjoy doing karaoke, so I did a few songs. 
and uh, we were just out late. Drank a little more than usual. Well, a lot more than usual. You know, I'm not... Uh, I would call myself, you know, a casual drinker. I, you know, I, I like to have a glass of wine like at nighttime, but it's rare for me to have more than one drink in a day. <clears throat> Whoa, I heard a slime. I heard one. Where is it? Did you hear it? No, oh, whatever. Um, but yeah, that night we had several adult beverages all right oh wizard it's like the whole reason i came over this direction i haven't been to see the wizard in a long time i'm kind of hoping that i get a cutscene here honestly because i don't remember oh that book is there that's what we needed hey buddy <coughs> poof so um do i have star fruit I don't think there's any reason that I can't do this, but at this point in the season, we missed our window of opportunity. We should have done it at the, you know, at the beginning of the season. Now we've got all those pumpkins planted. We'd have to move them. Anyway, Junimo huts we can do. I don't really care too much about the earth obelisk, but these take 10 iridium bars or that one does at least. That one takes five. I'm not super keen. I don't think I really need that one yet either. This one is the big one. There's another one that we will eventually... Oh, there it is right there. So, these two. The Desert Obelisk is nice because then I don't have to use the Warp... Uh, what's it called? Totem? No. Yeah, I guess it is a totem. This is like, a for, like an infinite Warp Totem usage. But it's a million bucks, 20 iridium bars, and then coconuts and cactus fruit, which I've got. But that'll be nice once we get that. And then this one's even better. Warps you straight to Ginger Island. Um, it's a million bucks, 10 iridium bars, and then things that we don't have and we don't even really have access to yet. Uh, I guess we could get dragon's teeth, but I don't think we have a real good way to get bananas yet. Um, I mean, we, it's, it's something that we, we can sort of get, but it's going to take us a while to get all the resources we need for that. Um, so anyway, just something to keep on the, uh, the radar for things to buy. Did we miss our window to get up to Robin's in time to get our slime hutch? We did, but whatever. What can I do the rest of today? Uh, hello everybody I'm trying to think of what we can do today I guess this uh random whatchamacallit scarecrow sitting out there is not really did I say hi to pink cat today I don't think I did hey buddy oh let's get our fish ponds set up <laughs> So what do we want in those fish ponds is the question, or is a question. And for right now, it is the question. But yeah, see, I'm down to one desert warp totem. If I get the obelisk, I just put the obelisk down, and then I can use it anytime I want. So... Um, Anyway, so we're going to sell all of those. I need some fish for my fish ponds. Didn't I get a fish out to start a fish pond the other day? I could have sworn I grabbed a lava eel. Yeah, didn't I do that? And it's probably the best thing for me to do is just put another lava eel in there. I don't think there's anything that I get from the rest of these that is like I'm dying to get my hands on. So that's what we're going to do. But let's grab um, two of those. So, okay, yeah, see, there is a lava eel 
floating around in there. So boom and boom. And now let's catch one more from here. And you go in there. Wait. There. So there we go. I kind of want to swap these. But it's not a big deal. Although, yeah. Let's let's do it. Uh, it'll look better to have all of the red water on the bottom row. So what you got to do is fish them all out. And then go like this and say empty pond. Okay. Then I come over here and do the same thing. <clears throat> I wish there was a faster way to do this, but I don't think there is. So. One thing I need to look at is do I have what is it 18 star fruit that I think I need yes do that and now boom and it is not full no I have to start over that is a ripoff well here's what we're gonna do oh they're all full great now at least I know that whenever those expand I can put more in there but it's gonna be a while I'm in the wrong shed. It's gonna be a while before I can do anything with the or get a whole lot of uh, goodness out of those. Well full there. Man that stinks. Why did I have I'm gonna grab these out of here. I don't have any reason to have them in there when I know I've got them in the other shed so let's go ahead and move them but what a rip off rats i guess it kind of makes sense but it you know in terms of how the mechanics work with fish ponds i mean i'm starting a new fish pond essentially at that point so it stinks whoops but it kind of makes sense so i can't be too upset with it all right, so go like that. I'll probably have more ancient seeds to collect when I get back up here because I'm going down to get the, the truffles and then I'm going to, no, I'm really thinking about cutting that wall down. Oh my gosh, this isn't helping the process here. Like, I really want to... No, get... I need sea biscuit. Or, er, I need dubs to get out of the way. Dubs, move. Now you, there. Holy moly. Alright, we're filling in a little bit here, so we can... Do that, I think. <clears throat> It's just funny that they don't eat the hay that's right in front of their door when they come out. Like, what is that about? It don't make no sense. Oh. Boom. I'm trying to think... I'm thinking about 144 ancient fruit is a good starting spot, or that that's basically six sprinklers, uh, six iridium sprinklers full of ancient fruit essentially, and that's a pretty good amount. I can't remember exactly how many I'm going to have room for on the beach. I know it's way more than that, but some of what we're going to plant on the beach is going to be something other than ancient fruit. So, anyway, we've got a good start there, that's for sure. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it a day.
Um, tomorrow is Saturday, which means... What does that mean? Ancient Fruit Day. And it's Abigail's birthday. What do I have in this chest? Oh, yeah, that's my uh, beach or uh, desert stuff for Skull Cavern runs. <clears throat> Not the best day money-wise, but we got a big one coming up here, so that's good. Alright, it's Abigail's birthday, it is raining, sunny, and it's going to rain on the island again tomorrow. Okay, it's a very good luck day, so we're going to go ahead and do the Skull Cavern run, which means, um, which is good because it's raining today. I don't have to worry about missing a day of crops. I do miss the day of the ancient fruit harvest, which kind of stinks. But we need iridium. We need gold. We need coal. This will be a way to get a bunch. So we're going to go for it. So all of those things go in there. And then I need you and you and you. Right? We'll take that as well. So. Boom. We're up here at 6.10 a.m. We got some stuff to grab there, but not going to happen today. All right. So in here, I'm going to put that. And then I'm going to grab those items and that. Now, you go there. I think that's a decent placement for those things. And let's go. So, we're going to go down to at least the 100th floor. Oh, there was a staircase there. <clears throat> it's okay though we've reached a point where like I'm not so concerned about saving staircases because we're going to be pumping out a ton of jade especially after the, after this run I wasted another one there but anyway it's uh this is the kind of day we should come away with at least 100 or at least 500 iridium so, ooh, there's one right there next to me. I could probably skip this part. I usually would do that where I don't make you sit and watch me zip down. Ooh, an iridium sprinkler. Nice. I will take it. <clears throat> Our objectives for this run are 500 iridium bonuses are uh, coal gold and particularly prismatic shards I'm gonna oh man there was a shaft open there I'm hoping that we can get at least three prismatic shards we have not had very good luck with that in this playthrough, getting Prismatic Shards. In fact, I think we've only gotten one, um, which is kind of remarkable, honestly. This far into the playthrough, I usually would have had several more by now, but whatever. I guess maybe some of that is that I wasn't so focused on efficiency early on to where... Um, we're just now getting to where we can make more of these runs, and this is where you, you oftentimes will come away with a bunch of um, prismatic shards, or at least a handful. So I'm going to be really upset if we knew, do another run down here and don't get any. Like, that's just, it's getting, come on with this. It's getting kind of crazy how few of those we've been able to get. So, all right. 
we are almost to the 100th floor, and then we will start blowing stuff up in bunches. Okay, so we're here, and this the 100th floor is always empty, uh, like an empty treasure room. After the, the, the first time you come here and see Mr. Quee and get the snake milk or whatever... So, here we go. Oh, goodness. Trapped! <laughs> I'm going to use the um, Mega Bombs first, just to get rid of them. Oh, wait, I need to eat Spicy Eel. I was like, man, I feel like I'm really slow. It's because I am. Uh, I don't like this floor. Yikes. Uh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't get any ladders out of that. Uh... I need a staircase. And I need cheese. And then I don't like this floor, so we're going to use another staircase. And I don't like them coming at me like that. Come on with this. And then a spiral floor. This is not going well, guys. That should get all of that stuff up there. Alright, got a shaft. That's the last of our mega bombs. Dang it, come on with this. Ooh! Lucky f there that we got the, uh, what's it called? Ooh, another shaft. Five more levels. That should do okay there. Grab the quartz before it gets blown up. All right, so I want to move some stuff around here. I want to see how much of that and that I get. I don't care about the other stuff so much. Um, so, anyway. Autumn's Bounty. That's a good meal. Uh, like, if you see the perks, or whatever, or the um, energy and whatnot. But, like, at this point in a playthrough, it's not very valuable to me. Early on in a playthrough, would have been thrilled with that. I'm going to put that down right there, just to get whatever I can before... Uh, if I can just kill this rascal, well, I'm going to put that there and that there. I would like to get this iridium. I need to eat. Oh my gosh. I like that if you eat a food that's, that doesn't have any perks, it doesn't erase the perks that you do have. But you have to be careful otherwise, because um, if you eat a food that does have perks, it takes it doesn't stack on whatever... This floor sucks. Get out of here. I like this floor. Lots of stuff there, and we got a shaft. And a prismatic shard. Finally! Let's go ahead and put it in place of the... Omni geodes, because I don't care. Oh, I was like, oh, staircase, but there's a shaft. Yes, jump in. Uh, I don't like this floor, but I'm gonna try one bomb right there just to see. Yeah, get out of here. Ooh, nice. I like seeing big clusters of stone and stuff and stuff like that. So. Uh, that can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Grab this stuff. It's later, dudes! I'm gonna put that there. If I don't get a ladder, we drop one. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. 
Actually, let's wait until we get hit here. Then let's eat. How did I not get a staircase out of that? If I don't get one there, I'm ready to drop one. Drop it like it's hot. Ooh. Kind of like this floor. A little bit spaced out, but there's a bunch of stuff. So... Yeah. Yikes. Did I get a ladder out of this? I did. Oh. Leave me alone! You scoundrels! Oh, I'm trapped. Uh... Put it down! Okay, I did get a staircase. Wasn't sure if I would, so I wanted to at least be prepared to have some more chances to get it. Alright, I gotta eat again. How's my uh, buffer doing? Still three minutes left on that. This is not a real good floor. I'm gonna try that bomb right there. Nope. Uh, how about right there, too? Just want the stone, I guess. But that wasn't a very good uh, floor. If I don't get a staircase here... Yep. Run! <laughs> This is not a very good floor either. Dang it, I'm not having much... Well, there's a chest. Or a shaft, so... We're due for a treasure room again, too. Uh... Go! Come on with this. I want to see more... Shafts and prismatic shards. Come on with the prismatic shards. I want, like, at least two more. Let's freaking go. Nope. Still none. Rats. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh. Shaft. Oh, go down. And then I gotta get ready to eat here. Yep. All right, so there's a ladder. I'll put one more down there. I guess I might as well do that. There's a prismatic shard. There's another one. Nice. So that paid off with those last couple bombs I put down. Big time. Uh, leave me alone! Ha ha! Blocked ya. Alright, that's pretty much... I'll try those two bombs. This is not a very good... Well, there we go. Got the, the ladder. Uh, right there, and that's it. I'm not doing a spiral floor. Yep. Forget it. Ooh, this is a good one here. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Blow it all up. I didn't get any prismatic shards out of that. Didn't I see a shaft somewhere? Did I not even get a staircase? Okay. I was like, holy moly. Uh, I gotta eat. And I need to eat this, too. I should have just eaten that, but it's okay. I'm getting out of here. I don't like this floor. Uh. Die. Alright. Boom and boom. That should get the vast majority of all of this stuff. No ladder, though. There's one exposed over there, so... 
Just make a run for it. I think I can get there. Yep. Come on, let's get a couple more prismatic shards. How are we doing on stone out of this run? 400. 49 gold, 41 coal. That's not bad in terms of coal. I wouldn't mind some more gold. I did get a prismatic shard again there somewhere. We're at, 40, uh, at four of them now. I don't like this floor, so... Ooh, there's a shaft. Heck yeah. Alright. We fell down four levels. Boom. Uh, there, 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 and how about there? And we'll grab this coal. And then we'll grab all of this stuff. And juke moves, and we're gone. I left some stone down there, but it's all right. Uh, how about you? Ooh, can I get a mummy kill? Ah, just a little bit late. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, definitely not doing that floor. Uh, I don't... Uh, oh, I was hoping that I could avoid this stupid bat coming at me. Get out of here. <laughs> get you. Get you. And get gone. Uh... Leave me alone! Uh, let's go right there and right there. I gotta eat. Holy crap. It's amazing how that sneaks up on you. <clears throat> uh, right there is good. Okay, we got a ladder. I killed that dude with... Oh, wait. Maybe I did. I thought I killed the uh, little flying dragon dude without even swinging at him. Nothing but bombs. Uh, how about right there? Okay. Got a shaft. Although, this is a... Ah! Run away! I think I need to eat here. Maybe. Let's just keep an eye on it. Uh, just take the staircase. And now, get another crappy floor. I don't like this floor either. I gotta kill this dude so he... No, go! Now I gotta eat. It's 7.40. So we're doing pretty good on time. Ah, oh, come on, leave me alone, dude. We're kind of in danger here. With all of these bats. Go. Eat. Dang, I was getting swarmed there. Hey, hey! Just those little sporadic couple of stones, and we got a prismatic shard out of it. Heck yeah. Come on, give me a shaft. Well, I'll take the ladder. Boom. Again, these I'm not getting really good floors. We're due for a good one. Yikes. I'm trying to juke those guys, and they're being sneaky. All right. Keep an eye on your health. I don't like this floor, really. We're going right here and then dropping a staircase if we don't get it. Alright, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Get off of me! Gotta eat. Whew! Uh, I'm going to drop you right there, and we're going to put one right there. I kind of thought I would get that 
one off to the left there, but it's okay. Uh, let's find, like, one more good floor, and then go ahead and take off. I don't really need iron anymore. I've got plenty. I don't like this floor. Alright, got the staircase. Thank you. I don't like this floor. Or that floor. This one will work. So, let's do a quick lap here. I'll go ahead and grab that. And then, how about right there? Well, we didn't get another prismatic shard, but we ended up with five, which is good enough to get me... Um, might as well just finish this floor. Right. Do a lap around here. Um, the five will get me a magic rock candy that we can use the next time we're here. We only ended up getting 380 iridium. I'm going to get this coal. That is not very good. Like, I'm really surprised by that. Alright, you guys go back in there. <clears throat> That's it, right? Yep. We have time to go take the bus back to the homestead. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to drive it since Pam just left it up here for whatever reason. Apparently she came up to Sandy's, went to the casino, and they were feeding her free drinks. And so she had to Uber it back to the, the valley and just left the bus. So irresponsible. I mean, you're on the clock, Pam. I'm just going to grab those. Um... I guess we'll grab... I think we have time to do this stuff. Oh my gosh, grab it. Grab it! Oh, I'm full of stuff. Rats! Come up here. Uh... <laughs> what am I selling? That. 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 That that I think that's it uh wait rusty spoon this isn't gonna work though I'm gonna be out of inventory again here uh, in no time so let's just go on back Go over to the shed and just put our stuff away. <coughs> oh, look, our fairy roses are ready. So that's cool. Um, okay. Let's come here first and go... Boom. I think that's it. And over here, we're going to have a bunch. You, 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 you. Uh, you, 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 you. You, you. You, you, um, you, and you, and you. Right? What am I keeping in here now? Okay, stuff to take around town. Where am I saving all of my geodes? Are those in the, um, they're probably in my chest to go up to the desert. Pretty sure. So let's go... Now, first of all, you can't put a prismatic shard in there. which, Or in the... Um, into the crystallariums. You used to be able to, I think, like on one of the early versions before updates. Um, but as valuable as they are, they did away with that option. So, anyway, not a big deal. <clears throat> 
We really got to hurry here, though. I'm just kind of coming in here more so to drop stuff off than anything else. So let's grab you and you, I guess, and we'll put that in there. Boom, 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 and let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Not done yet. Rainbow Trout Row is not very valuable. I'm just going to sell it raw. Um, the reason we've got those <clears throat> that fish pond is because they will occasionally drop prismatic shards. And that's what we want. So, sell, sell. I needed to put that away. Sell, sell, sell. So, save, save, save. That needs to be... Yeah, those basically all need to be put away down here. Those are getting put away in the house. So, in here, I guess we'll grab that. Don't want to miss out on that income. And so, you guys go in there, and then... Just do that for now. Boom. Boom. We're ready for tomorrow now, right? <clears throat> Wait. Yeah. I think that's it. Again, not ideal in terms of how much iridium we got on that run. But it wasn't terrible. I would have hoped for 500... I feel like that's like my usual, like on a decent run, that's what you come up with. So we didn't have a lot of luck on that front, but we had to skip a bunch of floors um, using staircases. There were some that I could have managed to go on and collect some iridium had I just taken the time to kill a couple of those flying snake dudes. But you're probably you're usually better off just skipping that floor and finding one where there's no monsters to worry about. So anyway, if you ha that's going to do it for this episode. If you haven't done so already, actually, let me make one phone call. Or no, wait, that's not what we need. Okay, so our barn is, or our uh, silo is full. We didn't get the, um, whatchamacallit, ancient fruit. These two crops that are ready are our fairy roses. And then we got a bunch of pumpkins working. Six machines ready is probably the seed maker, the recycle machine. What would the other four be? Maybe we had some ancient wine pop up ready right at the end. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it. Wait, no, no, no. That's not going to do it. Where's my phone? <clears throat> I'm going to call Robin at 1.20 in the morning. <laughs> I want to check on the price of the slime hutch. Beep. Check upgrade or building upgrade costs. Where are you at? 10,000 bucks, not a big deal. 500 stone, we've got plenty of that. 10 refined quartz we can do, and then one iridium bar. So we will probably try and do that in the next episode. Um, so something to do. But again, this was a uh, pretty fun episode. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see you all next time.